has been located. Why don't I get rid of that fat thing up there at the top? Carol sent this. There we go. Down, the sound is on. We got to turn the sound off. There we go. Otherwise, we get we get to talking to each other. Okay, this is Carol. Did you get that one? All right. Nightly or whatever. I can't ever say her last name. Hmm. Huh. Huh? Oh my word! Oh my word! I was just talking about these and how my sister needs more of these so she can spit on the envelope she sends to me with that more spit. Isn't that one that is wonderful. I am that'd be nice that'd be very nice to send to her. I'll do that. Isn't that funny? Where do they where do they find these things? You can find anything on Neko Junior Chocolate? Look at this. Look at these are all chocolate ones though. Freddie loves them. Yeah, you, you get a <laughs> We need a couple first. She sent me the envelope to send them in. Huh. Okay, she well, I certainly sure will do that. She wants to make sure they get there, doesn't she? Huh? She wants to make sure they get there. Yeah. She? That's very good. Well, we have to have a couple because it's they're really stuffed in there very tight, so maybe we should loosen it just a little bit. Thank you, Carol. She just sent it to my sister. I haven't given her one in 50 years, so what the heck? We're off and running. Okay, we have Carol Field, Osterville, Massachusetts. And we don't have a, we have to find a, there we go. This drawer, one of these days, maybe Christmas, I'll empty that drawer out, something to do. Did you put it in the eggplant, whatever? No. I had something else cooking. Oh. Pork. Oh, well, I could have pork and eggplant, though, can I? Yeah, but then you would go, you're going to eat pork and eggplant for dinner tomorrow, too? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, because yeah. Because we were hoping for the eggplant to have And two probably dinners. breakfast. All right, because that's going to be dinner for tomorrow, mm -hmm. too. Yep. Dear Carlene and all, a service dog project. Merry Christmas and best wishes for another successful year of helping so many people. You guys are all special angels. That's Carol Field and Betty Brady from Cape Cod. What is all this? This is a different, this is a different bunch of stuff. Carlene, when I bought my November chicken bricks, you sent me three zipper poles, monkey fists. I only had one. Uh-oh. Only one had a fastener on it. Oh, gosh, I, <laughs> I ran out of fasteners and, and I hung some up there and I, people didn't notice. Oh. At any rate, I did send a note, self addressed envelope, and postage to send me two fasteners. I saw you put the note in the mail all about three weeks ago. I remember that. Yeah, I do too. I was here. I went to get the fasteners. You put them in the envelope. But on that shelf behind you. I never received it. Oh, Maybe goodness. lost in the Christmas snuffle. Pam will remember. Pam and Jim Pam remembers already. We try. Yeah. Maybe I'll try again. Snuffle. Yeah, we'll have to because there are three envelopes here to be sent out. So. Sure, we we'll fix, we'll fix that up. That's not a problem. I don't think we can put it in. Oh, she's got a, a regular envelope here. So I got the fasteners from your work, right? Yeah, they're on, a, they're on the shelf with plain fasteners. I don't. Maybe we should have a t heavier envelope. Whoa! Stay there. Oh. Okay.
I think we need to put it in another envelope. I think that's not a strong enough envelope. It's funny because when you started reading that, I was thinking, this is deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did. Yeah, see, now here's our problem, though. I, I think this envelope is too weak. So I think we've got to put it in a bigger envelope. All right. Okay. Well, all right, if we put them in this, and then we... We'll put them in this, then we'll put them in that. Ah, uh, yep, and then we'll make sure we get the address. And then the, the address is right on this envelope. Yep, and I'm going to give it to Linda right That's now. That's right, give it to Linda, by It'll all means. right in the office. Give it to Linda. Mail. Five chicken bricks, okay. Uh-oh. can't do that, damn it. I'll just have to cut it off. Okay, Linda's on it. So if all goes well, she receive it in a little bit. So there was fasteners and what else? Fun fun? Uh, no, they got chicken bricks here. Oh, chicken bricks. What happened? Where do we say five chicken bricks? Oh, family. Knock it Hey! Get out here. Knock it off! Bentley! You mind yourself. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, keep going. Keep Don't on. stop here no, now. No. <laughs> Just no read the mail. Okay, chicken bricks. Wow. Okay, so this is. Well, I'll put the card in there for the chicken bricks. Then that'll be. That'll be five. We'll go like that. And then we'll put that in there. And then you can have that. Thank you. And we can put this in here. And we're all up to date, right? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Mm. And we have, this is Gibby. Oh. Tacoma, Washington. We have a lot of people. This is the state of. We got a lot of people that state of Washington now. There's another. I don't think so. Okay, you can have that one. Thank you. For the butterfly stand. That's pretty oh, look at this. Two dollar bills also. Well, isn't that fun? They make the damnedest things nowadays. Fred Meyer. Okay, it doesn't say if it's for anything special like chicken bricks or something, does it? Did anything that? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it says something here. Happy New Year. That's a very interesting card. Okay. Oh, yes, I see three chicken bricks. I'll put a three on it. <coughs> three. That goes in here, then. Okay, we're all set now. Cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. Get out of here, you clown. Laura. Panama? Really? In Panama? Well, the stamp didn't even get posted. Oh, you know? I don't know. Yeah, it looks huh. a lot of stuff. Also says things there. like... Oh, that's weird. It says, it says things like Miami, Florida on it. You can have that one. Thank you. <coughs> it's a white piece of paper. White paper report. <laughs> I need that. I'll put that up here. I, foolish project I have going on here. Okay. I am, oh my, there's a lot. There. We got a lot to say here. Greetings from Panama. I'm not sure what location the postmark will indicate. There are folks here who take the U.S. mail with them and return it to the States and mail it upon their arrival. Sure been silent, CP. I've been a silent CP since the Starlet Litter in 2015. I enjoy watching the cameras and learn so much from the daily doggy. I hope it's all good. Thank you for everything you do, giving all of us a window into the wonderful 
wonderful world of Crazy Acres. My husband enjoys the occasional coffee spilling <laughs> morning as I read the Daily Doggy. We can relate to your sense of humor. I appreciate Shannon, Steve, Megan, Olivia, Pam, thanking all the time to review their day with us. Thank you for your dedicated dedication to help others in such a tangible way. Laura Vale enclosed his money for one calendar and five dollars for the fun fun. Well, so where did we got for an address? Oh, there's an address. That'd be all right. We'll put that on here. I'll staple it on there. Stay there otherwise, maybe. I'll put that on there. Now, it's about this staple gun I've got. It's a, it, you got to really squeeze it. Is that an old one that's metal? No, I'm just yeah, asking now. Yeah. Maybe we could screw it with But what in there? You just pick it up and boop and it's done. Actually, yeah, you practically just touched that it. That is unbelievable. Yeah. I had fun playing with that today. Although sometimes that one doesn't always staple, so yours really? might be better. Well, mine, mine usually works until it runs out. We have Edward and Lucille. Braun? Gibsonia, Pennsylvania, is that right? Between the eye light, eye light, eyesight, and things like that, it's very difficult. <coughs> I could use some pull for tonight. That'd be fun. Okay. Oh, there's a staple on there. Yeah. I'll let Linda worry about that. There we go. There we go. Please accept this gift in honor of Shauna. And Kringle. Oh, isn't that nice? Shauna and Kringle. That's very nice. Huh. She does a good job. She went in and went, went uh, in the school and talking to kids or something. I believe I heard she has several gigs lined up. Yeah. Go right to it, Cal. Okay, Mary Rofe. And I know that I saw that one of them gave us $200. Yes, they did. Yes, 213 Um nice. I don't understand that joke. This guy is the, this is the one that sends us these jokes, but I don't understand that one. Mary Rofe? Rolf? Mary Rofe. Okay, we'll have to save that and get Steve to explain it to us. I didn't get that one. Some of them are a little obtuse. Well, I'm going to write it. Mary Wolf. And everybody can tell us what we missed. Somebody will probably tell us on there. That, yeah, that's what I mean. Maybe the person who sent us these things is on there. We don't know. Oh, no, this is from Mary Rolf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a person. <laughs> The way that's typed up at the top is the way that other cloud, he, the guy with the Alka-Seltzer or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, but he sends the... He sends all those funny things. Well, isn't that fun? Okay, so we have that. Happy holidays. She must be a driver. For Mary, Tulip, and Cricket. The cattle dog. Well, there's Cricket the cattle dog. Now she's got a horse and harness there. Oh, there we go. To all the great folks at Crazy Acres and Service Dog, thank you for enriching so many lives every day. Mary, well, isn't that fun? And she wants two bricks. Put that on there. And that goes in here. And just in case that falls off, I'll put a two on it. Two. And we have Danvers Animal Hospital. He did that already. Yeah. 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 Okay. Time Magazine is having out with weird covers lately. Let's save that one too. Maybe I'll read it. Who knows? Cheryl O'Neill. Laurel, Maryland, another racetrack. 
Oh. You, you do look in the envelopes. Yes. Actually, we save all the envelopes and a couple of people go through. Oh, good. Kylie and the Merry Christmas. Cheryl, Mike, Molly, and Megan O'Neill. Well, isn't that very nice? Thank you very much. Okay. And that's what the was fourth. in there? A card? Was there something else? Huh? No, was there nothing else in just there. Just a card? Huh? Chris, just a Christmas card? There's a Christmas card. Okay, I didn't know if there was chicken birds or no. fun, fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, and then we have State Street Foundation. That's always a nice time. Nice word at this time of year. Hopefully. Five hundred dollars. Thank you very much. Who's it from? I wonder. Oh, come on, settle down. It's a matching gift program. You have to go look it up and see who did it. Sizzle! I'm crying now. Relax. Very nice. Doesn't say anything <laughs> what they're matching, but whatever they're matching, we'll take it. There. There we have a box. We have a box. That's pretty weird. Here, you can have that because that's very strange. I don't understand it. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's a t-shirt. Sherry. Oh, no, that's the person who sent this. I mean, who? Where it came from, whatever. I don't think that's the one that sent it to us. Yes, I smell it. It says something about Sherry's berries or something. I know, Hanny Hopeful here. Ah! You did not try to set My shoulder dislocated. Okay, who did that? We did that. And we did that one. You think something's in here for you, don't you? Oh. Okay. Well, that came out. Someday, some people are going to send me just a funny box. We'll see if I can figure it out. We used to give my, and a long while ago, we would wrap up crazy things as Christmas gifts. Really? For my uncle, or my step uncle. And we, when we found, someone found a shoe on the side of the road, so they <laughs> wrapped that up and gave it to oh, ho, ho, ho. Here's trouble. Here's trouble. No, they're not for you, dear. You want to try that deal? Okay. I'll see what I can figure out where they came from. Ooh. No, they're not yours. You, but you want one of these, right? You'd like one of those? Would you like one of these instead? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Maybe that's a blender? Better? Tracy McCall, McNichol. Oh, la, la. Oh, 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 dear me. We don't really oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Tracy McNichol? Oh, Tracy that's McNichol. our Tracy. Huh? That's Tracy with the poodle doodle. That is a uh, volunteer. She's Good. here occasionally. She brings bagels. Oh, okay. Give us these things, I too. I believe that, sir, because that's what, I mean, that's what we need. Get away! Don't touch. I'll put those in the fridge. Yeah, sir. There's cookies. Are you going to eat one? No, I'm going to wait. I'll eat half the box. Wow, the thank you, over. Tracy. We'll put all these Sherry's things in here. Berries. Yeah, here's another one, you know. Oh, yeah. I thought there were two. <sighs> the shoulders are not doing Maybe. You need a sling. You need a grease job. Probably well, need to keep it up. Uh -huh. No, it's by it's by seatbelt, the car. 
Give me my shoulders a hard time. Ow. Board up? Yep. Board up. No cookies, Susan. <sighs> okay, well, we take care of this in the morning. Or maybe tonight. Whatever. Ah. Okay, questions. So you're doing questions and I'm backing up. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Careful of the chip. Slip on a chip. That's all we need. Hmm. Oh. Let me make sure we can see. Yep, whiteboard. All right. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, thank you. Festive board. I try. I'm not, not the most creative, but Tracy brings the bagels on Saturdays. She hadn't been here for a bit, though. She comes occasionally. Uh, this is the first time I have seen Sizzle begging for a cookie. It's usually Bentley. Has anyone seen Uncle Annie? Yes. She was here Saturday. Yeah. Half the day. And she was I here midweek. And she was here midweek, too? I yep. I passed her in the driveway. I, I don't. At one point. And um, she'll be here for a few days at Christmas. Oh, good. Okay, the evacuation was lifted, I, lifted, I guess, in California, maybe? What? The, I don't know. Is the fire better? Just heard evacuation was lifted. So I assume it must have been the fire. Huh. That's all I have on there. That's, isn't S SB so Calif... San Francisco? I, yeah, SB. California, though, I assume. I don't always know where everybody's from. Carlene yells at Bentley, my cat Rory comes to a complete halt, looks around to see if she's in trouble. Someone said, I need to record that voice for my kitties also. Life would be so simple. <laughs> Uh, Marilyn Dossie Cat, my calendars came. Yay, I'm so excited. Linda and I have had lots of emails about this. She is great. I mean, we're getting, they're really, I mean, as soon as the things are coming in, we're, we're they're trying to they're get them out. Yeah. You know, it seems to be about a box a day. Yeah. That's yeah. a half an hour at the post office. <laughs> yeah, Mara took, uh. Yep, she took a last time. Yep. I didn't go. Time for mail call. Okay. Sound is on. Okay. Time for supper, not bad call. Oh, Santa Barbara. Thank you. Santa Barbara, California. What is the plan for the Crazy Acres Christmas dinner? I haven't got that far yet. It is being donated by CPs. Right, I know that. But what would would, would, we, would we like to have a what would we like to have? A little big roast beef? Does it entail cooking? Huh? Does it entail cooking? Well, you have to roast it. Well, I I had said, well, maybe we could have, and everybody else said to me, Pam, someone's buying dinner. Why should you have to cook? <laughs> so I, I don't know. I just, whatever. That would, be, that would be a stick in the oven if we bought everything else already made. Yeah, that would be easy. Yeah. If we I, don't have to deal with the fixings, all the... Well, I don't know where I... I don't, I'm not... I don't think they do turkey dinners. Maybe they do. I haven't haven't looked around. We haven't even checked it out. I mean, maybe Spinelli has a, a Christmas dinner. Or the other thing we could do is we could do those that honey baked ham people. They have Christmas dinners. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I wasn't. We I have mean, some researching to do. Yeah, we hadn't really finalized all that. Um, Pam and Ted Sarosi, Katie's mom and dad, were on the ship and was going to the ruins, happened to be in the bus behind them. Oh. What? There was a bus wreck, right, or something? Oh, there was something. There was a ship that had a disease going on. I heard that. <sighs> There's so much stuff going on. How can we even keep up? I know. Who will be at the farm for Christmas? Well, we have a 
few of the regular Monday folks. Debbie Cannon will be here for Christmas. Dumpster Kitty will be here for Christmas. Okay. Is Mindy in heat? Yes. Yes, Mindy is in heat. Did Erica and Asher leave? Yes. Yes. That was kind of funny. I'm waiting to hear from her. Did okay. You hear about it? I heard you. It's a story. I didn't hear the story. Did I tell you a story? Yeah. <laughs> I dropped her on the side of the tracks where I usually drop her, and I said, you have to cross the tracks and go down the other side. And I left her there. And she, she made cross the tracks. I made sure she got across the tracks okay. And then I thought, well, that's stupid. I could drive around and come in the back driveway and sit there and wait till the train arrives with her, you know. So I go across the thing, and she's standing fairly near a bench to sit on. And so I made a beeline for the bench. The other end of the bench, there's a guy with a pair of crutches. So I sat down, I was talking to her for a few minutes. <clears throat> I turned around and talked to him. I said, what are the crutches? <laughs> and he says, I only have one leg. Oh, boy. I said, you must be a veteran. He said, I am. Nice guy. Marine. So we all started talking together, the three of us. And when I left, the two of them were wandering. And he's on his way to Rhode Island. Oh, going to the And so is she. So they probably went through Boston by themselves. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He was about the same age as she. And oh, really? He, he. He was kind of cute. He only had a leg and a half, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he explained he had his other leg in his backpack. Oh my! Yep. <laughs> oh gosh. I, I tried. To, I tried to to get him to come up here. We'll see what happens next. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Twelve people were killed on excursion from ship. Yes. Yeah, sometimes we're out of the loop here. That's true. I, a couple of I, days can go by, and I really don't know what's going on. Well, I try and watch that cute guy every morning. I don't know who that cute guy is. On uh, local TV? Oh. Oh. CNN? Who was the president? Who was the governor of New York? Cuomo. Ah. Uh, okay, so it's one of his sons. Oh. One of his sons is governor, I think, or something. And he is a anchor at CNN. Oh. He's, he's very funny. He's very cute. He's a lawyer. He's very sharp. It was fun to watch him. Seems like you guys are going to have extra hands for Christmas. Yeah, well, we're working we on so. it, right? <laughs> extra hands are always good for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, dogs are best. Received calendars and monkey fists. Thank you. You're welcome. How did Walter's surgery go? It Someone wasn't surgery. Corrected. They met him. It was an introduction to surgery. No, the one that was operated on was Bella yesterday, wasn't it? It wasn't today. I believe it she was. Had the, she had the halo put on. Yeah. I, and I do think if she's going to wear that thing, she ought to have it decorated like R2-D2. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. <coughs> oh, someone said, Pam should not have to cook. No one should have to cook. The CPs who stay while others go to a volunteer party dinner should receive a gift card at the restaurant. Leftovers should not be their option. That's someone's I, opinion. <laughs> That's a very long, complicated one. I can't read out all of it. But the, uh, the uh, they, they're saying go to a restaurant. You know who has a dinner? Is the club. Oh. They have takeout. Oh. They do. We get Mark to bring it down. Or someone. I don't someone. know what Mark's doing. Yeah. <laughs> he may not even be in the area. He travels a lot. So 12 people died in, in a front of their bus. I mean, it's just every day there's some catastrophe, it seems. It's this, Chris Cuomo. Chris Cuomo. Yeah, right. It is. He's cute. And he went out, he went out during the, um, during the, the uh, hurricanes. Yeah. And he only had a shirt on. Oh, boy. So we had the wet T-shirt. Oh, boy. Oh, he was cute. Everybody was all so... He was, he's, he's funny guy. Those people are so funny when they're out in the weather. Yep. I still will never forget... Um, oh, my gosh. What is his name? Wolf Blitzer during the war. Uh, that is in my head with him under the desk in the... Just 
Do you remember? No. Uh, well, just certain things and like weather people and they, they, they're, it's just crazy. It's crazy. I don't, you mean, all for the thrill, all for TV, but really? Sometimes they're nutty. Debbie in Florida said she got the Christmas present she wanted. She has a two-week baby, a uh, two-week-old baby girl. Oh. Yeah. She does a lot of the um, fostering and adopting and things. Uh, cute. Carlene is doing matching matchmaking. <laughs> it just kind of it just it just fell in. Like it was very interesting. Ivy loves the big blue monkey fists. Oh, good. Hi, Betty. How are you? How's Ivy? Mm. The other day, trainer Steve said Edgar uh, author is on light duty. Any improvement with his wobbly legs? No, he just wobbles. We ha somebody's going to take him. Yes. But I forgot. Pat. Pat. Yeah, Pat, a volunteer who's been on the list for pet list for a while, is going to take him. Yeah. Just had my teeth yanked. Life-threatening sinus breaches. So I get mashed taters and a smoothie for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, she, the per the that comment about the Christmas dinner and the volunteer dinner, talking about two different events. She was saying, people here shouldn't have to cook on the holiday. I think that was one thing. And then when there's the volunteer dinner, if folks stay here, they should be given cards to go somewhere to eat. Oh. I am going to interject, though. The folks that come here for the dinner offer to come here for the dinner, and they really don't want to go to the dinner for personal reasons or other. Mm -hmm. So There's some people who just don't want to go. Yeah. Where are we going Not that year? they're... They're working on it. Oh. It's in April. Good. I just got an no email. Blizzard time. I just got an email from Sandy, either the eighth or the twenty eighth or something, and they had not finalized where it was going to be. She was trying to get a head count from me, but the Are head count's always finale? the same. That didn't look like it was on the list that they gave me, but it should be because they have awfully good food. A head count email. I will, it's not in my head. I've got other things in my head right now. You're in charge of food. Ask them about Spinelli's. Spinelli's. I have no idea what they charge, but they have a huge functional. I don't know either. I don't know. Um, okay. Anything else? I'm on overnight. We're having pork and eggplant for dinner. Tonight and tomorrow night, you're the witness. Because I was excited when you brought the eggplant because I said to Linda, oh, look, you have eggplant for dinner for tomorrow night. Probably there'll be some. There may be some left. You never know. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. All right, thank you, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. What's for dessert? I don't know. We don't know. Strawberries, chocolate-covered strawberries. Well, that's right, the strawberries. With a little whipped cream.